Today we're gonna to learn how to make this basic granny square. We're gonna need a couple of things in order to get started. First off, I'm using a DK weight yarn today, a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and also a yarn needle. Starting with the foundation chain, attach the yarn onto the hook. Then chain five. Working into the first stitch, place one slip stitch. That creates a little loop that we're gonna work into next. Chain three. Inside that loop, place two double crochet. Chain two. Again, inside that loop, place three double crochet. Chain two. Inside the loop, three double crochet. Chain two. Inside the loop, three more double crochet. Chain two. Then working into the top of the chain three that we first created, slip stitch to attach. For round number two, chain three, then turn the project. Working into this chain two space, two double crochet. Chain two. Again, in that chain two space, place three double crochet. Chain one, working into that next chain two space, three double crochet. Chain two, and three double crochet again in that same chain two space. So we're going to repeat that two more times for the next two chain spaces that we have. Again, chain one, working in the chain two space, place three double crochet. Chain two. and three double crochet inside that same chain two space.
One more time, chain one, inside the chain two space, three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet inside that same chain two space. Chain one, then working into the top of the chain three that we created, place one slip stitch. For round number three, chain three and turn the project. Working into this first space that we've created, place two double crochet. chain one and now we have our first corner so place three double crochet inside this chain two space chain two and inside that same chain two space three more double crochet. Next chain one, working into this next space, place three double crochet. chain one and now we have a corner again so placing three double crochet inside the chain two space chain two and in the same chain two space three more double crochet Now we have two more sides of this square. We're gonna repeat everything that we just did from corner to corner. So chain one, working in this first space, place three double crochet. Chain one, and now we have a corner. So three double crochet inside that chain two space. Chain two. And three more double crochet inside that chain two space. One more side of the square, chain one, inside that first space, three double crochet. Chain one, then create the last corner. Three double crochet inside that chain two space. chain two and three final double crochet inside that last chain two space. To finish up this side of the square, chain one, 
Then working into the top of the chain three that we first created, place one slip stitch. Round number four, chain three and turn the project. Inside this first space, place two double crochet. Chain one. Next, we're gonna work into the corner, placing three double crochet inside this chain two space. Chain two. And three more double crochet inside that chain two space. Now working along this side of the square, we have two chain spaces to work into. So chain one, then in the first space, place three double crochet. Chain one. Then in the next space, three double crochet. Chain one, then work the corner. Three double crochet inside the chain two space. chain two, three more double crochet inside the chain two space. Now we're gonna do that same thing for this side of the square. So again, we have two chain spaces, chain one, in the first space, three double crochet, chain one, then three double crochet in this next chain space. Chain one, then work the corner. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all inside this chain two space. Another side of the square, we have two more spaces to work into. Chain one, three double crochet inside this first chain space. Chain one, and three double crochet inside this next chain space. Chain one, then work the last corner. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all in the side the same chain two space. Finishing up this last side of the square, chain one, then in this chain space, three double crochet.
chain one and at the top of the first chain three, place one slip stitch. Round number five, chain three and turn the project. Inside this first chain space, place two double crochet. Chain one. In this next chain space, three double crochet. Then work the first corner up, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all inside the same chain two space. Now for this side of the square, we have three chain spaces to work into. So chain one, inside of the first one, three double crochet. Chain one, inside the next chain space, three double crochet. Chain one and three double crochet inside this last chain space. Chain one, then work the next corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all inside the same chain two space. Repeat the same thing we did for this side of the square. We have three spaces, chain one, work three double crochet inside each of these chain spaces. Chain one, next space, three double crochet. Chain one and three more double crochet. Chain one, now we have another corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all inside the chain two space. One more full side of the square to do, chain one, and in all three of these chain spaces, we're gonna place three double crochet. Chain one, three more double crochet.
chain one and three double crochet. Working the last corner, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet, all inside the same chain two space. Finishing up the first side of the square, chain one. In this chain space, place three double crochet. Chain one, and in the top of the chain three that we first created, place one slip stitch. Round number six, chain three and turn the project. Inside this first space, place two double crochet. Chain one, working inside the next chain space, three double crochet. Chain one, then create the first corner, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all inside the same chain two space. For this next side of the square, we have four chain spaces to work into. Chain one, inside that first chain space, three double crochet. Chain one, next chain space, three double crochet. Chain one, next chain space, three double crochet. Chain one, and then the last chain space, three double crochet. Now we have another corner, so chain one, inside the chain two space, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Another side of the square, again, we have four chain spaces to work into, chain one and three double crochet inside each of those spaces.
another corner, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all inside the same chain two space. Another side of the square. Again, we have four spaces that we're working into. So chain one and three double crochet inside all of those spaces. One final corner, chain one, then three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all inside this same chain two space. Finishing up the final side of the square, we have two spaces to work into. Chain one, three double crochet inside this first space. Chain one and three double crochet inside this last space. To finish up the square, chain one, then working in the top of the chain three space, place one slip stitch. Grab a pair of scissors and this first piece that we crocheted over, you can go ahead and cut that off. Then leaving a little bit of a tail to weave in, cut off the working yarn. Yarn over and pull that working yarn through. Last thing to do is weave in this end. Thanks for joining me today in learning to make this granny square. There are so many different things that we can use this for. Let me know what you're most excited about creating with these. Have a super spooky time creating and I will see you goals in my next video.